What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon News Daily, a daily Pokemon show where I go over Pokemon news spamming across all the Pokemon games, including Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, Pokemon Quest, Pokemon Go, and of course, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Games. So today is Tuesday, July 5th, 2018, and hope everyone had a nice and safe 4th of July if you're out in America. Kudos to you guys. Let's jump right in because we have a ton of news, like always, to go over. So today's first news story is for the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon games. This is coming from Serapy.net. The Tornadorous and Thunderous event has begun in Europe and also Argentina. From now until July 22nd, 2018, players will be able to get Thunderous and Pokemon Sun and Ultra Sun and Tornadorous and Pokemon Moon and Ultra Moon. And I just butchered those names. I know. Laugh at me in the comments. Simply by just going through Mystery GIF and put Get Via Internet, these distributions different between Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, with the Pokemon being level 60 and the vanilla versions of the game and them being level 100, holding the gold bottle cap in the ultra versions of the game now for anybody that's out in north america that wants to get their hands on these event pokemon you're gonna have to make your way out to target from july 13th in canada you're gonna get your code through the official pokemon trainer club newsletter later this month which sounds like a terrible idea we all know how that newsletter distribution went in the past for people out in north america as well and it kind of sucks that people in canada still have to go through this event like i always say if you are making your way out to Target to pick up these event codes from July 13th to the end of the month, please rack up as many as you physically can from these guys. You can help out Pokemon trainers that are in Canada that never received their Pokemon Trainer Club account. People who cannot go to Target for whatever reason, there isn't one in their city, their, their county or whatever. Be the good Pokemon trainer. Get as much as you can. Hand them out to trainers online. If you do pick up extra codes and want to drop them in the comment section of this video, please feel free to do so i don't mind you guys talking and sharing code in the description of the video i think it's pretty cool to see trainers helping each other and that's one way you can definitely do that moving on to pokemon go news because of course we got brand new Pokemon Go news. It's been a news drop for Pokemon Go literally every day this week. And today is no difference. This is coming from PokemonGoLive.com, the official Niantic Pokemon Go website. They dropped a brand new blog with a brand new Pikachu wearing sunglasses and a hat getting ready for summer. Let's jump into it and check it out. It says, trainers, can you believe it's already the second anniversary of Pokemon Go? Thank you so much for adventuring with us and catching Pokemon all over the world. You're truly what makes this journey so special. None other than Pikachu has joined in this celebration. Keep an eye out for Pikachu and Pichu as they appear more frequently tomorrow, July 6th, until July 31st. Plus, this year you can say hello throughout the month to a special summer style Pikachu that's decked out in a straw hat and sunglasses. I think it looks pretty cool. I want to see how it looks exactly in game. To be honest, do I want another damn Pikachu with a different hat? No, but I'll take it. I want to see how it looks in game. This image right here doesn't do it too much justice. It looks like they just threw sunglasses on it. I'm hoping this is not the sunglasses that's going to be on the Squirtle. But again, it just, it, it looks kind of weird. The straw hat looks way too big. It's not my style, but I, again, I'll take it. One thing I did notice is that they said Pichu is also going to appear more frequently. I would wonder, does that mean more frequently in eggs? Or we would are we going to see Pichu spawns in a while? I would love to see Pichu spawns in a while. That would be cool to finally have a baby Pokemon out in the wild to catch so I wouldn't have to wait waste my time hatching eggs. I don't want to say waste my time, but I don't want that chance of hatching a Pichu when I could be hatching something else, you know what I mean? So I think it would be pretty cool, especially with the fact that this could be a shiny as well. I don't know if there has been shiny variants wearing the hat, but let me know in the comment section below. But I think this would be pretty cool if you are able to pull a Pichu, a shiny Pichu in a while that's shiny. I think that's pretty cool. 
hopefully that is the case. We're gonna have more information once they start spawning tomorrow. So probably when you've seen this video, there has already been confirmation. So be on the lookout for that. It says, can't get enough Pikachu. Pikachu fan avatar items will be available for purchase. Trainers with a gold Pikachu fan medal will be able to purchase the related items, which includes a t-shirt and Pikachu ears. That's pretty cool. We kind of went over this yesterday as the APK Datamon revealed that there were gonna be Pikachu fan and avatar items coming into the game we're just waiting for the reveal to see how it looks as of right now there has been no actual pictures and photographs of these avatar items which should be coming soon i i would think that they will be coming tomorrow when these pikachu start spawning it kind of makes sense it says we have heard so many amazing stories from trainers that we can't wait for what's on the horizon we are excited to announce the special research of the mythical Pokemon Celebi will be available globally in the near future. So stay tuned, trainers, and get out there and go. Now, I think this is pretty cool. They took the time out to announce that Celebi is going to be in the game as a mythical Pokemon special research. They didn't say quest. We kind of know through the AP Kmon that there's going to be introduced via quest. We already seen the Celebi sprite being added to the game. One thing I am worried about is and I think they confirmed this before, is that will the special research quest kind of reset? Will your Mew quest and where, how far you're along, if you haven't caught Mew yet, like me, who's still trying to catch her, the ghost and evolve a magic card if, and catch a ditto. If, if, I, if I'm still doing that quest, Will that quest get bumped out to now have this, I mean, this Celebi quest? I don't think so. I believe they said that there's no end date for these quests. I just don't see the in-game capability of putting the Mew quest on hold. Maybe they will imprint that via the Celebi update. When we do get the Celebi update, there'll probably be a way that you can just slide you, uh, the Mew stuff to the side or to the top, kind of how the regular research tests have it that they can stack up and stuff like that. Maybe you can do stuff like that where it just shows all the stuff you need to do regardless on what mythical Pokemon you're aiming for. Who knows on how they implement that together. I'm just hoping that for the people who didn't catch Mew yet that's still grinding towards that goal, doesn't miss out on Mew because there's a brand new special research because that would kind of be a bummer. Again, if you do want to know what's going to be the quest for Celebi. I'm going to have the link that Pokemon Go Hub found via the APK data mine in the comment section below. I will not do a video on it, not yet, not until it gets officially revealed. I think that kind of sucks. But if you are one of those people that want to jump in and get spoiled or just, you know, get caught up and kind of prepare for the future, I'm going to leave that link in the description below so you guys can check it out. While we on the topic of Pokemon Go, coming from Cerebi.net, this weekend from today until Sunday is the Japanese Expo, which is being held in Paris, France. This is a special Poke Stop appearance in which spawns of the unknown letters J A P N E X O spelling out Japan Expo which will spawn around the event locations as you guys know they love doing this every time there's an expo or convention or you know E3 or whatever they love throwing unknown letters out there to kind of have people playing at these events to kind of keep the Pokemon Go name in the atmosphere which works it works it gets tons of people playing Pokemon Go at these uh, conventions and stuff like that. I, every time E3 is upon us or one of these, you know, PAX East and stuff like that, we see these people who play Pokemon Go all the time head out to these conventions just to catch Pokemon, but then also interact with the convention as well. And I think that's a cool like trade off and a cool way to play the game and interact with the game. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Now for all my Pokemon dual players, there's going to be another Pokemon dual update coming is the special gym cup. The dragon gym cup has been added to Pokemon dual. This gym cup increases the movement of dragon type figures and increases the white and gold attack of ice type Pokemon by 20. With this, you can get the Dragonair and Dragonite figures and it runs until June 9th, 2018. So get out there 
and play some Pokemon Do, I guess. Now, while we on the topic of mobile gaming or mobile Pokemon games, this is coming from NintendoLife.com. Pokemon Quest has already raked in three million in its first week on mobile. Oh my God, three million dollars already on a free to play game just with the Pokemon name. And this game has technically been out for a month. So people have played it on the Nintendo Switch and I'm pretty sure it was doing gangbusters on the Switch as far as people buying the DLC. Now I played this game a ton on my Switch. I still do. I'm still like halfway through it. I haven't gotten to the end. I haven't seen any legendaries. I haven't seen Mewtwo. So I'm still grinding my way through that. On mobile, I only did the first world. Now I am going to try to capture as much footage as I can via the mobile version and upload it here. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd be interested in that. I already got the first 20 minutes of me going through the first world up here on YouTube. So if you wanna check it out, I'm gonna have a link to that in the description below. And let me know your thoughts on Pokemon Quest Mobile in the comments as well. Now that's gonna be it today for Pokemon News Daily. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts about everything we went over from the Pokemon Go second anniversary celebration with Pikachu, Straw Hat, and <laughs> having the sunglasses and the possibility of Pichu actually appearing in the wild. I think that would be pretty interesting. Let me know your thoughts on that. As well as all these unknown spelling out Japan Expo appearing at the Japan Expo in Paris, France. Let me know if you're going to be in the area and be catching unknown and if so, which ones. And also let me know your thoughts on the Thunderous and Tornadoes event going on right now in Europe. Also, let me know your thoughts on Pokemon Quest getting $3 million in its first week. And remember, this is a free to play game. This is pretty good for Pokemon Quest. Hopefully they keep updating it and it keeps growing. Now I'm gonna leave you with this little gif. I seen a couple people posting it. I can't find the original source of this whole video. And I don't think that it was released. I think it was shown on a TV show or something like that to that nature. But once I get my hands on the full video, I will be breaking this down and showing you guys. It's basically just Zero Aura getting mad. <laughs> I've seen a lot of um, people trying to translate this. It's just Zero Aura's Rage. Poker Serena also challenges this. This is where I'm actually finding it on Jinx Club Poker Serena's page. And I'm going to leave the links to it in the description so you could basically give her some hearts on this because this art just looks amazing. Oh my God, it's going to be hard to stop having this GIF on replay. I can't wait for this. Looks like it's part of the anime or maybe the movie. Most likely the, the movie and I can't wait for it. I can't wait for having Zero Aura in my in my game and I can't wait to see this movie to see Zero Aura kick ass and uh, yeah, he looks like he is going ultra instinct on motherfuckers in this little gif. So let me know your thoughts on it as well. Like always guys, I'm Daddy and my Fred on Instagram and Twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube and yes, I'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you wanna be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace, I'm gonna see you guys on the next one.